everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Currently me and my boyfriend Rul are backpacking through South America and this morning we arrived to the famous city of Cusco in Peru. This is basically the gateway city to a lot of the famous sites such as Machu Picchu, the Rainbow Mountains, the Sacred Valley, the Pisac Ruins, so many places and I think Cusco City itself is also supposed to be really nice. We arrived here with a night bus from Arequipa, we had this lovely cama seated bus so the trip was quite comfortable and we have just checked into our hostel. We have a private room with a shared bathroom and yeah it looks really nice, it's a bit on top of a hill so we're gonna have to trek up and down a bit but most of the accommodations here in Cusco seem to be a bit higher up so yeah it's just something that you have to deal with here now for the first thing of today we need to go to an ATM and get out some cash and then we're gonna go and have some breakfast and then we're gonna start scouting a bit for different tours because the places offer very different prices and stuff the best way to do it is to get different numbers for different tour providers and then just message them all and see who gets gives you the best price. But yeah, let's go and get some money and eat. So for taking out money we've found this multi-red slash Banco de la Nación to be the best one because it doesn't take a fee when taking out money. I got a bunch of uh, flower petals poured all over me. I think this means that uh, we're getting married. Oh, we're getting married? This is completely Oh. <laughs> We came to a bit more affordable dinner spot. We came to a little kebab shop, but this place has really, really good reviews. I got myself this falafel wrap. Looks pretty good and it's really big, so that's nice. Today's plan is to actually enjoy Cusco, explore Cusco, see what the city has to offer. Yesterday was more of a settling in day, making some plans, seeing what kind of tours there is to offer. But there's definitely a bunch of things that I want to check out and see here in Cusco. So I'm excited to explore this city. So behind me you can see a temple called the Kori Kancha. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but it is an old temple ruin that was built in the 15th century by the Incas. And apparently its walls used to be covered in gold. But yeah, let's go and check out this temple. It's supposed to be a really nice visit. Cusco used to be the capital city of the Incas and this temple was their main temple, also known as the House of the Sun. It is said that this temple was the richest temple in the area before the European conquest. It is rumored that the temple's walls were covered in gold from top to bottom and that they also had a lot of valuable treasures in here. It is not sure what happened to all the golden treasures. Some believe that it was melted by the Spanish and other legends tell that it was hidden by the Incas. It 
seems like everyone's just chilling here on the grass by the temple's garden so we decided to plop down as well and just sit for a while and relax the sky does look a little bit dark so i'm a little bit scared it's gonna start raining soon but let's enjoy it until it doesn't rain and even when it does rain we'll find some nice little restaurant or something so no worries come for lunch to this place called Jack's Cafe and what I've understood it's a very popular spot they're famous for their big sandwiches so I think I'm gonna go for one of those or something but yeah the place itself looks really nice at least I decided to go for this veggie burger I don't know does that count as a sandwich but oh well look at the size of it if you compare the size of this burger with my head it's humongous whoa Really good. We are now by the main plaza here in Cusco. There's a lot of restaurants and tour providers and everything around it. And there's also two big churches here. There's this one and then there's that one over there. But if you want to visit these churches, they're not free to visit that one over there is i believe 12 soles and then this bigger one next to me here is uh 40 or 50 soles something like that so quite pricey i think for visiting a church and also if you visit you're not allowed to take pictures or videos from inside so i think we're gonna skip it this time but i wouldn't even be able to show it to you guys if we visited so i think i'll save my money for something else instead if you're interested in seeing that you know where to find them and there was like small parade going on seems like there's parades here every day at least there's been parade today and yesterday so the both days we've been here so far so very fun tonight we're skipping dinner because honestly i'm still really really full from the lunch the burger was huge so instead of dinner we are going out for some desserts tonight While we were waiting, we were given things to color and pencils, so I made this. <laughs> My inner child is happy. Coloring and a banana split. Even has sprinkles. Today is another day in Cusco. Since you've seen me last time on this video, we've been on a bunch of tours in between. But today we are spending the day in Cusco again and we just came to a cafe called Organica. And we're gonna have some lunch here. I think I'm gonna go for the scrambled egg sandwich. Sounds good. For today, I'm not sure yet what we're gonna do. I have a few more places here in Cusco I really want to visit. So I'd like to visit at least one or two of those places maybe today. And then we're also gonna take it a bit easy today because we've had quite hectic few days and my legs are so stiff from all the walking and hiking and stairs we've been and going up and down that yeah, I'm walking like a penguin at the moment. <laughs> but hopefully some good food would help. We have now come to the biggest market here in Cusco called the San Pedro market and here you can find everything from different foods and food stands and groceries and souvenirs and stuff. I've heard that it's well worth a visit so let's go and check it out.
Wow, look, these are all juice stands. So many. How do you know which one to pick? <laughs> More juice stands. Well, if you want a juice, this seems to be the place. There's like a million juice stands. If you want to do souvenir shopping, this is also definitely the place where to come for it. If you're looking for some local street food, this is also a great place where to come for that. We just ate though, so I don't think we're going to eat anything here. Oh, a bunch of flower stands. Beautiful. And more food stands over here. Oh, it's a huge market. <laughs> truly everything here. So there's like one aisle with bread, one aisle with nuts, one aisle with meat. I think I might want to go for one of these million juice stands. So all these fruit stands seem to have like different names. I'm thinking it's the names of whoever owns the fruit stand. We decided to go for one called Dora. So let's hope Dora's juice is good. And we both ordered pineapple pear juice. quite sour but it's good nice and fresh we have now climbed up to this beautiful viewpoint here in Cusco it's right by this church called San Cristobal and from here you can see all of Cusco it's really really beautiful 